Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to help you get started with modeling in Houdini. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's roll up our sleeves and dive into the exciting journey of crafting a detailed and visually compelling trash can. We will start by adding a tube. It will be the base of our object. For the column's parameter, set the value 27. Now, with the help of the Match Size node, we will raise the tube to the level of the grid. Set the Justify Y parameter to the minimum value. Next, we will add the Transform node and reduce the diameter of the bottom circle. Add the Transform node and now we will switch to the Edge Selection mode and select the bottom edges. But first, we will press this arrow and then we will select them. Select them by double-clicking and press Enter. For the Uniform Scale parameter, set the value to 0.75. Next, add the Poly Split node Here select the edge loop. Here we will place a line, and for the lower part we will do the same. Add another poly split node, select edge loop, and add another line here at the bottom of the tube. With the next poly split node we will add three lines on the center of the tube. Select edge loop and add three more lines here. Next, we will divide the top part and the center part in two different objects. Activate the Edge Group parameter. We will need this group later. Add the Group Promote node, and we will promote the Split Path group on Primitives. Here we select Primitives, and here select Split Path group. Add the Split node and select the Split Path group. Here in the second input, add the Null node and we will rename it to Edges. For the first input, we also add the Null node and rename it to Body. We go to Edges and we will delete the upper part. Here we select Primitives. Insert them all by double-clicking and add the Delete node. Next we will model the bottom of the trash can. Add the Poly Extrude. For the distance parameter, set the value of 0.019 and activate the output back parameter. Add the null node and we will rename it lower side. We will put these two nodes aside because from the delete node, we will add some more nodes. We return to the delete node and switch to the edge selection node. Select the bottom edges and add the Polyfill node. For the Fill Mode parameter, select Single Polygon and activate the Path group. Add the Delete node and delete the geometry that is outside the path group. Next, we will add the Poly Extrude node. For the inset parameter, set the value to 0.032 and activate the front group parameter. Add another Poly Extrude node. Here we select front group and we will extrude only the geometry that is in this group. 
For the distance parameter, we set the value of minus 0.028. With the next poly extrude node, we will add thickness to this shape. Add the poly extrude node. For the distance parameter, set the value 0.027 and activate the output back parameter. Add the null node and rename it to bottom. Next, we will duplicate node delete. And we will select delete non-selected. Duplicate the poly extrude node and connect it here. Add the null node and rename it in the upper part. Now we will move on to the body node. Next, we will divide this geometry into triangles. Add the triangulated node. The settings are the same, so we don't change anything. Next, we add the tri-divide node. For the rot3 depth parameter, set the value 1. Add group node, group type, select edges. Activate the include by edges parameter, and we will group the lines according to their length. Here we set the parameter to value to 0.125, and disable base group to see the selection. Next, we will delete these lines with the dissolve node. Here we select group 1. In this way, we obtained this interesting form. Next, we add the poly extrude node. For the inset parameter, we set the value to 0.015 and disable the output front parameter. And we add thickness with the poly extrude node. For the distance parameter, we set the value to 0.01 and activate the output back parameter. Add the null node and rename it to complex ornaments. Next, we will combine all these parts in one node, select them all and add the merge. Add the clean node and delete all the groups that we will no longer use. And disable the remove degenerate primitives parameter. Next, we will create the UV for this geometry. Add the UV unwrap node. We will split the screen in two to view the UV. Add the UV layout node, and here's the end. We add the null node and rename it to trash can. A special thank you for your time and dedication. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content. Until next time, take care and keep creating.